So when we are finished with uh, refreshing the subject, uh, obviously we consulted amongst ourselves. So ourselves meaning myself, other subject coordinators, head of school, uh, also Chris Brewer, who is a teaching and learning facilitator at the university. Uh, and it seemed like a good idea. But um, after having implemented it and having uh, taught it for one semester, we realized that some aspects maybe require more time that we, we thought other aspects require much less time than we thought. So there is always scope for change and improvement. Um, and therefore, for next year, I will make sort of some slight changes to, to some of the practicals, for example. But also from next year, the subject will be ran in, in our new science teaching facility. Um, and, and given the new technology that we have, a lot of the practicals might have to change to, to make full use of that technology. Another aspect that I would like to change is the final exam. So the final exam has largely stayed the, stayed the same as it was in 2014, with the exception that we lowered the percentage, the weight of the, of the exam. Um, however, I would like to take the exam out of the exam session, have it earlier, also have it before the exam session, and incorporate some practical and some, some applications, some applied aspects to the final exam. Although change seemed very daunting, um, it was clear that it was necessary to refresh this subject. Um, even if I would have ignored the students, I had to change the subjects for myself to make my life easier. And, but um, I was quite lucky because when I decided to, to change, the school embarked on a school-wide uh, refresh of our subjects. So there was a coordinated effort from the part of the school to, to change. And because of this, we, we also had a teaching developer uh, reside in our school full time for one year, uh, Chris Brewer, so, and, and she participated in, in the whole process and we had a lot of discussion about the subject. Uh, I also benefited a lot, I was doing ULT at the time, so I had a lot of interactions with uh, other uh, early career researchers who just started at university. And, and everybody was quite sort of anxious about the teaching coming up and, and changes that they might have to make. Uh, ULT also helped a lot in sort of formalizing uh, some of the ideas that I had about, or sort of the preconceptions I had about teaching and, and, and teaching philosophy. So I, I, via ULT, I actually understood what was wrong with the subject. Uh, in the first place, and, and that helped in, in deciding on how to change it and how to make it better. Um, and rather than the process being tedious, it actually became a very enjoyable, creative process. So I, I actually approached the process of refreshing the subject as I would approach any other science project that I do. It was a problem, and we needed to solve it, and, and we needed to find a way to solve it appropriately. So we had a lot of discussion and, and through this discussion we, we came up with what we have now.